Can the 2021 Cadillac Escalade ESV compete with BMW and Mercedes? The new Escalade isn't just for loyal Cadillac buyers anymore. Even German brand fans should take a serious look at the redesigned Escalade, which has upped its game after watching the segment leapfrog it in the years since its comparison win in 2015. After spending some time in the loaded $113.565-2021 Cadillac Escalade ESV that's a long wheelbase Chevrolet suburban-sized model, we have some thoughts on how the Cadillac excels and in how it falls behind the BMW X7 and Mercedes-Benz GLS. The Luxury of Choice The Cadillac Escalade and Lincoln Navigator offer one luxury that Mercedes, BMW, Infiniti, and Lexus probably never will, two available sizes. Offering this additional layer of customization allows buyers to zone in on what they really want from a full-size three-row luxury SUV. Customers who are simply after these trucks' glitter, look, and cachet can drive the normal version. Families who want to haul three rows of people and some luggage simultaneously might try the Escalade ESV or the Navigator L. If you're trading up from a vehicle such as a 198.8-inch Ford Explorer, however, we have one somewhat obvious word of caution— the 2021 Escalade ESV is enormous and harder to park or maneuver through drive throughs The long wheelbase model is 226.9 inches long, and the normal Escalade is 211.9 inches. In comparison, the Mercedes GLS is 204.9 inches, and the BMW X7 is 203.3 inches. As for the Navigator, the Lincoln is 210.0 or 221.9 inches long, depending on the variant. Note, the standard length model is shown in this Escalade ESV review. So that's what a luxury SUV's third row should feel like. Once you discover the 2021 Escalade's third row, it immediately becomes clear why you might want to make room for it in your driveway. Access to and space in the third row are refreshingly huge, especially compared to the X7 and GLS. And that's true for the non-ESV model. As a 6 foot 4 inch tall automotive journalist, I've crunched myself into all kinds of three-row SUVs, even the small ones. There's no crunching in an Escalade. Whether you use the flip-forward captain's chairs, our test SUV has a two-seat second row instead of a three-seat bench, or climb between them, the Escalade offers tons of interior space. If you were actually planning on using that third row for people, some people buy three-row SUVs for the space with the third row folded down, the Escalade is a good place to start. And in the ESV, you get an extra 1.7 inches of third row legroom versus the standard Escalade. As for the cargo space, the load floor is still a bit high, but the Escalade and Escalade ESV offer unparalleled room in this competitive set. And yes, that includes the two Navigator models. So if you can handle the hard-to-park enormity of the Escalade and Escalade ESV, the Cadillac should be a contender on your shortlist.